Welcome back to Hi Mama's online activity content hub. Today we're going to be making these really fun binoculars. These are a really great way to get your children outside and to look through them and see what they see. Maybe you can go on a little adventure with them. They're super easy to make and they actually use recyclable materials like the toilet paper rolls that I have here. So let's get into it. For this activity, you're going to need some toilet paper rolls or you can use paper towel rolls cut in half. You'll need some string. I've used a hole punch here just to make making the holes on the side of the binoculars a little bit easier. You can also use sharp scissors. You're going to need some tape. You can use clear tape or double sided tape to tape the construction paper to the toilet paper tubes. You'll need some washi tape. This is really fun tape that you can get from a craft store. It's not super sticky. It's more for decorative purposes. You can find it in the paper section or you can always buy it online. You'll need some scissors a glue stick and something to color and decorate your binoculars with. I went ahead and chosen crayons. If you're working with younger kiddos, you can always use stickers and glitter. Those are really surefire ways to uh, get the children to use those materials and explore. So the first thing that we're going to do is take our toilet paper roll rolls and cover them in construction paper. I've gone ahead and pre-cut my um, construction paper to the size that it needs to be below. I'll show you here. So it's my construction paper and I measured and cut it out so that when I roll up my toilet paper tube it's the exact size. If you're working with younger children who don't quite have the fine motor skills and the hand-eye coordination you can always pre-cut your strips of construction paper as well beforehand and all they'll need to do is either glue or use tape to stick it on. So now I'm going to roll it and tape it at the end as well. Perfect. The same thing to my other toilet paper roll. And by creating this construction paper base, this is going to allow children to just decorate it a little bit easier and uh, it'll be a little less seamless than uh, having the toilet paper roll, unsightly toilet paper roll, show through. See? Makes like a nice clean surface to decorate on. Perfect, so I've got my two toilet paper rolls here. The next thing we're gonna do is take our washi tape and tape it across. I'm gonna go with this design here, really cool, lots of little triangles. And it's a little bit easier if you either glue or use tape or double-sided tape to tape them together beforehand just so they don't roll away. And I actually like to tape them on the seams here. Just so we can hide the seams, perfect. So my binoculars, we're already seeing the shape of the binoculars. Now I'm going to take my washi tape and I am going to tape them on top. This is more so for decorative purposes, but it looks really nice. So what you want to do is take your washi tape and a little bit from the bottom there, just leave a little bit of a space, just put the tape across and pull it all the way around. Oops. For one long strip. Washi tape is really great. It's super forgiving. It's super easy to rip too. It's almost like paper. So I've got one strip there and I'll do the other strip just a little bit slightly above that other one. So I'll have a little gap between them and meet it at the back, rip it off. Perfect. So like I said, this washi tape here is more for decorative purposes. It looks really nice. Nice pop of uh, green, pink, and yellow, and orange on top of this green here. The next thing that you're gonna do is have your child or children, they're gonna decorate the binoculars here. They can do little designs, little squiggles, um, really give them you know, lots of tools and ideas. Stickers are really great because they're super easy to peel off and stick. Especially if, um, you know, the younger children don't really quite know the pressure of a marker crayon or pencil crayon yet. They might squish their binoculars, so using stickers and markers might be a little bit easier for them. I like this kind of confetti pattern I've got going on here. Lots of circles, squares, squiggles. Perfect. I've got orange and I'll do this color here too. Pops really nicely. Okay, so I have my bones of my binoculars. The next thing I'm gonna do is take my hole punch or you can use scissors. Um, pointed scissors are really great. Just make sure an adult is using it. 
and um, we are going to hole punch on the side here. So if this is the top of my binoculars, I'm just going to rotate it, give it a hole punch on the side. Make sure you are a few centimeters away from the edge there, just so it doesn't rip. Flip it over, do the other side. This is where our string is going to go. So we're gonna take our string. You can use um, thick string like this, like this twine. That works really great and it's super durable as well. Cut some off. Okay. And we're going to go through the holes. So start with this hole, thread it through, a really great fine motor activity for the children to practice their fine motor skills. Make a double knot on this. And then this part here, you'll want to make sure you have enough string and definitely not too much string for the child um, if they're putting this around their neck. And just be mindful if you are doing this activity in the classroom, if the children are running around with the binoculars, that they are very careful with this because you wouldn't want this to become a hazard with the dangling string. It's a really great activity to do walking in the forest, maybe when you're camping. Perfect, so I've got my double knot there. They look nice and secure. And this is how they look. Here's my other pair here. So now you can go on an adventure, maybe in the forest, go hunting for bears, go hunting at the different trees and see what they look like through the binoculars. I hope you enjoyed that activity. Let us know how your binoculars turned out and what you found through them. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.